agree that the world is due for great change in 2012, as predicted by the end of the Mayan calendar. Some believe in Armageddon. Others, the Judgment Day. Come with me if you want to live. And Rapture. Some even believe that the Mayan calendar's end simply marks the transition of humanity to a new peaceful age. Those people are wrong. Very few understand how dangerous and subversive the dolphins actually are. Those who figure out their nefarious plots don't often live long enough to tell the tale. The dolphins navigate their way around the river by sonar. And modeling the world and sound can be almost, so far as we can tell, almost as detailed and accurate and three-dimensionally informative as vision. <laughs> By now, nearly everyone is familiar with the tales of aliens visiting ancient civilizations. The most common representation of alien visitors to the Mayan civilization is the oddly shaped skull. It's clear that this skull is not shaped the way the modern human skull is. However, when compared with the modern dolphin, you'll notice great similarity. Dolphins have done everything they can to create a false sense of safety and security to humans. After inventing television as a mind control device, the dolphins observed its effect on humans before creating their first major attack, Flipper. Humanity has been infiltrated by dolphin invaders for centuries. Here are just a few recent figures who are actually dolphins. Dolphins have infiltrated our culture in other ways as well. Notice the video game Echo the Dolphin. It is an example of how we are forced to portray dolphins as defenders of the future. Over 4,000 years ago, our space-dwelling ancestors made an arrangement with your Mayan civilization. You began to pollute and destroy not only your own land, but also the air we both breathe and the oceans which the Mayans had yielded us. We soon realized that our attempts to communicate with your small brains has failed! So we next attempted to interbreed with your own species. Our peaceful efforts with your earth women were rebuked and very few successful hybrids were born. As a result, we have drafted a plan of action to begin at the moment our contract with the Mayans ends. We will begin a complete reappropriation of your H2O. After all, 57% of the human body is a fresh, clean water. You will not die immediately from this transition. Instead, the chemicals will cause unpredictable mutation to humanity, which we hope will yield a wiser, more peaceful race to take the place of modern humans. Those of you who survive this test will then be prepared for the beginning of the Aquarian Age, a time of peace and harmony on Earth. Those of you who fail will suffer endlessly as you die. So long and 